All right, so in this video, we are gonna ride to Laconia, New Hampshire. Let's check it out. All right, what's going on, YouTube? FX DLS Brooklyn is back in the building. And you heard it, we're putting in some serious miles out here. Right now, we are in New Hampshire, about 12 miles away from Laconia, and just look how beautiful this is out here. Oh man. But yeah, you might be uh, asking yourself, FXD Los Brooklyn, what are you doing in Laconia when it's like months after the main rally? <laughs> Good question. Long story short, I didn't do a uh, formal announcement about Sturgis 2021, but if you've been following the channel at this point, then it's probably not news to you that we are going to be returning to Sturgis 2021 this year. And it's going to be some familiar faces from the past, the road captain and the scorpion, of course. And then some newer faces. But yeah, and we'll have the addition of Vong Asphalt with us. So we're gonna be rolling four deep this year. And we got a really interesting route plan this year that's gonna maximize the amount of miles that we do. So you know, for all of us, these types of trips is nothing new. You know, I've been doing these types of long bike trips since 2016, you know, it's nothing new. You've all, you've all ridden with me through the channel, through a lot of them. So one thing that I like to do before I set out on a long bike trip is do a quote unquote mock trip, you know, where you put in a decent amount of miles away from home just to make sure that your bike is dialed in and your gear is dialed in before you set out to do the actual real miles, which we're talking north of 7,000 miles. I wouldn't be surprised if we come back this year, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, maybe even 10,000 miles deep. You know, we're really trying to maximize the miles on this trip. But you all know I like to do these little mock bike trips just to make sure that everything's dialed in. So Laconia, kind of seemed like the perfect location because Jenny also wanted to do a little weekend and we found a really nice lake house out here so it all kind of fell into place you know we found a super nice lake house and I knew the riding out here is really good hence the uh, Laconia bike rally not put in the miles if you do not gas up your bike so let's get that oh we got 93 that's what we like to see all right so we are gassed up we are all set to go let's keep moving so the general idea is that we would you know get some quality time in with numero uno of course jenny you know and then also just get some good riding out here put in a decent amount of miles to make sure that again everything is dialed in before we put in the real miles and head out west. So I'm glad I did it because, you know, one thing that was really special about doing this ride is that yesterday when we did the ride up here, literally the entire ride was rain. The entire ride was rain. I saw that and most people would see that and say, that's terrible. I see that and I look at that as an opportunity because now that means I get to test out my rain gear and see if in three years it's still up to par. So I'm glad I did it because after doing the 300 miles in the pouring rain, my upper body was fine. Yeah, so upper body was completely fine and the issue was that my legs after all that were completely soaked. So this is good information because now before hitting the real miles on the road, I now know that I need to either repair or replace my rain gear. So 
Got that under control, hit up the good folks over at First MFG, told them the situation, and they're gonna replace it and then also repair the current one. So I'll be staying dry and staying low when we hit the long road. So I'm glad that happened. Besides that, um, you know, I'm going to be dropping this bike off at O2Wall's Harley Davidson. One reason why is because all the dealerships that are in or around New York City are like super backed up right now. So I figure let's uh, go 100 miles outside the city. I was uh, Mike over there with the white FXDX took care of me, got me in there, and I made a reservation so that once I get, once we get done with this little Laconia trip out in New England, we will be dropping the bike off at O2L's Harley Davidson. And what am I going to be really doing in terms of preparation? Well, I'm going to do both the tires because, you know, I want to make sure that I don't have to worry about changing the tires while on the road. Obviously, going to do all the fluids, just a general full service. And then the other thing that I was kind of on the fence about doing, replacing the chain and all the sprockets. And I've been on the fence about it, and most people that I show it to are like, yeah, dude, that chain looks good. You easily have another 10,000 miles on there, but I have 25K on the current chain and sprockets, and I don't know, I don't want to get to a point where I'm on the road and I feel like, yeah, I should have... I should have taken care of this before I left. So yeah, again, why Laconia, right? Well, another big reason for me is when I was a kid, Laconia was a typical rally that my dad would go and do with his friends. And riding through the rainy conditions was really special because I remember this one year, you know, when he came back home and he was telling me about it, he's like, yeah, the first day out, we literally rode through rain all day. And as a kid, you know, having no riding experience, I, I used to think like, oh man, dad's the ultimate badass i don't understand how you could ride a motorcycle in those conditions so it was really cool you know as an adult to go and kind of retrace the path that my dad did you know when i was a kid and it was a beautiful ride too like anyone riding in or around new york city a hundred percent do it what i did is i came up and i basically scaled the entire state of vermont taking 11 east and man that's a beautiful ride, you know? I'm really glad, you know, that we did it. So for me, in terms of the motorcycle rally, I could never get off work around that time. So when my dad and my friends do Laconia, I'm never able to go. So it's just gonna be cool for me to experience some of the rides in and around the rally, you know, and do it do it solo and kind of just take my time because you guys kind of know at this point at FX DLS Brooklyn <laughs> we're definitely more about the act of riding motorcycles and not necessarily the social components that come with it so you guys know when I go to events like Sturgis probably 90% of the time I'm on my bike doing the rides I'm not really into the whole standing around and hanging out unless I'm supporting my friends or supporting companies that we support here on the channel. So it doesn't really matter to me if the rally is going on regardless. I'm really just here for the riding and I'm really just here to make sure that my bike and my gear is dialed in for the upcoming trip that we're planning to do. So that's why FX DLS Brooklyn is in Laconia in July right now. <laughs> But yeah, I think in this video, um, I'm just kind of passing through. I'm like about 10 miles out of the actual city of Laconia. What I have planned right now is for today, I'm not actually going to go and hang out in the city of Laconia or the town of Laconia or whatever it is and like, you know, hit any like popular destinations in regards to the rally. I'm more just trying to do some of the exciting rides around. So my dad gave me one route to check out that goes around I guess it's Lake Winnespaki or something like that so I'm gonna hit that up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that all the way to Portland Maine 
just to get a lobster roll and then I'm gonna circle all the way back so right now I'm kind of looking at a casual like 500 mile day and I'll feel pretty good after I do that we are all about the miles on this channel only miles only long bike trips that's it but while I am out here, you know, obviously I do want to spend some time with Jenny. You know, I want to do some fishing out here. You saw we're outside of that beautiful lake. Going to do some swimming, some canoeing, all the, uh, all the lake stuff, right? But I also want to do Mount Washington. I want to link up with uh, the Chrome Rider. I met him when we did our first Canada trip like three years ago. And we've been in touch ever since, trying to get a ride in. So I'm trying to link up with him, and I think we're going to try to do Mount Washington. But he was telling me, yo, dude, it's like 30 degrees up there. And obviously, I don't have heated gear with me. So stay tuned for that one. That'll be an interesting video. And in that one, I'll probably link up with him in Laconia itself. So you guys, if you are curious of what the actual city looks like, come back for that video. Because I'll probably meet him in Laconia proper. But yeah, that's kind of what you need to know right now. We are just mentally, physically, and mechanically getting prepared for Sturgis 2021. That's why I am currently out here in the beautiful state of New Hampshire outside of Laconia. Absolutely loving life right now. I love this state. Anyone I've ever met from New Hampshire, I've liked generally hard-working people that party just as hard and uh, yeah looking forward to you getting some good New England miles out here so yeah I'll try to throw up some clips here and there of the day you know I'll definitely throw up some clips when I get out to Portland you'll definitely get some lobster roll pans shout out to Stacy Wilt and ride to food this is right up her alley you know she's the type of rider that's gonna put down 500 miles just for a lobster roll so I'll have to <laughs> find a way to tag her in one of those pictures but that's it y'all that's what's happening on the channel stay posted got a lot of exciting content for you stay posted for Sturgis 2021 I hope to see some of you out there if you make it out there this year as always stay safe stay low Listen to the Bad Brains, and on that, FXDLS Brooklyn is out.